Hello students, welcome back. Today we're working on Lesson 33, Session 2. You should be on page 721 in your Volume 2 math book. And today we're going to be sorting shapes based on their sides. For this lesson, I highly recommend that you get out your geometric shapes that were included in um, your last pickup, and we're going to use those to help us today. Evan plays a board game. The board is divided into three sections, parallel sides, perpendicular sides, and parallel and perpendicular sides. So I'm going to make my board game here and divide it into three sections. Parallel, perpendicular, parallel, and perpendicular. Not quite enough room. These are Evan's cards. In which sections of the board do these cards belong? So Evan has a hexagon, a rhombus, a parallelogram, and a trapezoid. Your ge geometry blocks may be a different color than mine, but there's, as long as they still have the same shape, that's okay. So. The first question is, is do they have parallel sides? So on this one, yes, this one does. If you can take two pencils and put them on two of the opposite sides and they'll never touch, then that means it has parallel sides. Next is the rhombus. Again, I can do the same thing with the rhombus. I can put, it's kind of moving around here on me, but I can put my pens on each side of it and they'll never touch, so it has parallel sides. Next is the parallelogram. Again, I can put them on opposite sides and they'll never touch, so it has parallel sides. And my last shape is my trapezoid. And again, I can put my pens on opposite sides and they'll never touch, so it has parallel sides. Our next question is, does it have perpendicular sides? So we know all of them have parallel sides, but now let's see if they have perpendicular sides. So to find perpendicular sides, we have to see if any corner makes a 90 degree angle. We can see on a hexagon, all of the shapes are too big. So that means it's only going to have parallel. On a rhombus, a rhombus has two obtuse angles, and it has two acute angles, so it only has parallel. Parallelogram, same thing as a rhombus, it has two obtuse angles and two acute angles. And our last one, a trapezoid. That's an acute angle and that's an obtuse angle. So. These do not have any perpendicular sides. None of them have a corner that makes a 90 degree. So that means that if they have to have a perpendicular side for each of these, that means none of them are going to go in these columns, but they're all going to go in the parallel column. So in here I'm going to write hexagon, rhombus, parallelogram, and trapezoid. Let's move on to page 722. Again on here, it's going over the cards, and we can see that parallel lines are two lines that go on forever without touching. Perpendicular lines are lines that will make an exact square in all four corners. So when we look at both of those shapes, we can see that, you know, which ones are going to have parallel, which all of them did, but none of them had a perpendicular side. They had intersecting sides, but none of them had a straight square in the corner, so they all go in parallel sides. Over here, we're going to skip page 723 and go to 724. On page 724, number 5 says, Describe the group that the shapes belo below belong in based on the kinds of sides they have. Well, so if we're thinking about sides, we're asking ourselves about parallel 
and perpendicular. So if we had those same categories, what sides would it go to? So again, we're working on parallel, perpendicular, or parallel and perpendicular. Well, if I take two pins on this rectangle, I will never touch. On this square, I will never touch. And on this rectangle, I'll never touch. But then the next question is, is does the corners make a 90 degree angle? This one does, that one does, and that one does. So they would go in the parallel and perpendicular category or column. Circle the shape below that belongs in the group no parallel sides. Well, we can easily see this one has parallel sides and this one has parallel sides, but triangles do not have parallel sides because it only has three sides. So a triangle cannot have parallel. Select all the shapes that always have pairs of perpendicular sides. So again, perpendicular is going to be a shape that is like this. So if a shape can make a 90 degree corner, then that's what it would be. So first we have our hexagon, and we already determined that our hexagon does not have any perpendicular sides. So it won't be that. Next, we have a parallelogram. And if you are not sure what it is, you can look back here. This is our parallelogram. We can see that it always has parallel, but there's nothing here that makes an exact square. A rectangle. I don't have a rectangle here, but I do have a square. Rectangles are similar to a square, but they're longer, but they always have a square corner. So that means they always have perpendicular sides. A rhombus. A rhombus is never going to have a, perpen um, a perpendicular side because it's kind of at an angle. Again, we have the square, and just like the rectangle, it does have those sides. And our last one is a trapezoid, but I... Where is my trapezoid? There it is. So here's my trapezoid, and it has two acute angles and two obtuse angles, so it's not going to have it. If you feel like you're getting the hang of classifying quadrilaterals, go ahead and do say, page 725 and 726 on your own. If you don't feel confident about it, you can keep following along with this video. Look at how the shapes in the example above are sorted into groups. Then look at the shape at the right. Which group does the shape belong in? Okay, so we obviously know that we have a rhombus here. Does it have parallel sides? Yes. Does it have parallel and perpendicular sides? Well, we know that it doesn't have perpendicular sides. Does it only have perpendicular sides? No. So this one would go in the parallel sides group. Suppose there is another group for shapes. No parallel or perpendicular sides. Circle the shapes below that belong in this group. Okay, well this one we know has parallel sides. Does this one have parallel sides? No. Does this one have parallel sides? No. But this one does, so it wouldn't be this one or that one. So now we have to see if these two have perpendicular sides. There's no corner in this that's going to make 90 degrees, and there's no corner in this one that'll make 90 degrees. So these would be the two shapes that would go in the category, no parallel or perpendicular sides. Turn to page 726. Select the kinds of sides each shape has. Does this have parallel lines? No. Does it have a perpendicular side? Oop, looks like right here it does. Parallel sides on this one. If I do this, it looks like those two sides right there have parallel sides. 
What about perpendicular? Looks like it's got a couple of square corners here. So this one has both. Okay, on this shape, if I go up here, then it looks like it does have parallel sides, but there's no square corners in it. And our last one, yes, it does have parallel sides, but again, there's no square corners. All right, and our last one down here, select all the properties that always belong to each shape. So right here I have a square. I don't have a rectangle here with me. But we know that a rectangle always has parallel sides, just like a square always has parallel sides. Does a rectangle always have perpendicular sides? And the answer is yes, because it's always going to have four squares, and same with the square. But now we have to think about a rhombus. Okay, let me grab my rhombus here. Okay, there's my rhombus. It does have parallel sides, but it never has perpendicular sides. That's it for today's lesson. I will see you back for session three.